Governor Cuomo, a sexual deviant. I mean, we all knew this. This this accusations came out months ago, but damn, damn, the DA came out and laid it down. Eleven different women, all corroborated. Inappropriate touching, kissing, comments. He even assaulted a state trooper. All verified. This isn't made up. This isn't alleged. These, he did these things. He did these things. How is he not arrested right now? That's my question to the DA. How is he not arrested? Sexual assault is sexual assault, man. I mean, what are the statute of limitations? I it's, That I don't know, but I mean, some of this stuff has got to be recent because he hasn't been governor for that long. The shit that that woman said that he did. And then this guy, not an hour after that press conference, he gets up and does his own fucking video conference and denies everything and then even blame some of the victims and even even admits to touching people yeah i touch me i hug people i i i say things I, I i talk to people i call people sweetheart and shit and basically admitting that he's done all these things they're accusing him of but trying to play it off but still denying that he did any of these things that these women said which have been corroborated by text messages and eyewitnesses and 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 statements of a freaking state trooper says she was sexually harassed by the governor and another state trooper testified as an eyewitness saying yeah that happened i saw it these are sworn troopers. How is that man not in prison? And let's not forget the whole scandal with the COVID and the old people. I mean, this man should be fucking getting the death penalty for what he's done. This man is the scum of the earth. And all you fucks, all you fucks that licked his asshole. CNN, your brother's on there. Every day having an interview with, during the height of the pandemic, having an interview with him, joking with him, saying, you're the best, bro. I love you, bro. All the, all the celebrities that fucking said Cuomo, they, they said that he should run for president. They said he, he had the best response for COVID. The damn guy wrote a book about how great he is in his COVID response. Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, all the, the list goes on and on. All these people interviewed him and heaping praise on him and saying what a great job and how, what a great person he is. This guy is the scum of the earth. I mean, what are they going to say now? All these people that fucking backed him up and said he was such a great person. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of these people had no idea he was a sexual deviant, but... Regardless, what are you gonna say now? Because these accusations came out months ago. This was months ago. Hey. How is he not in a fucking orange jumpsuit right now? How is he not fucking having conversations with his lawyer and that's it? And eating prison? Tell me, how is that possible? I mean, do you remember all the shit they gave Donald Trump when that when that recording came out of him talking talking about the women and grabbing the point? Remember all the shit? And they fucking said, yeah, look, he's a sexual deviant. This man shouldn't be fucking running for president. Blah, 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 all the things that they said about him. And then Stormy Daniels came out and fucking did her fucking trip. It turns out, well, I mean, if they did have sex, it was consensual. And Stormy Daniels had to pay his lawyer fees. And how the media harped on it. How long are they going to harp on about this? I mean, I heard CNN is doing the coverage and they're, they're ripping him 
as they as they should because that's all they can do because all they did was lick his asshole for fucking a year and a half straight and say he was such a great person and now they have their their hands are tied they have to come out and condemn it because it's not alleged this is all corroborated that man did these things all right my my question to that da is what okay why is he not charged and what are you guys doing about the COVID thing because i mean that man should be investigated for that too and this man just shows you the audacity of this man not even an hour after the DA's press conference, he goes on TV and says all that shit he said. Denying everything, admitting that he touched people and said things, and then blaming the blaming the victims, making them feel bad. This guy should be in jail. Right now, if this if this guy was a Republican governor, if this guy was a conservative that the media doesn't like, I bet you right now he'd be in jail. Right now, as we speak, the motherfucker be handcuffed, fingerprinted right now, mugshot everything, if he was a conservative. I mean, that's just my opinion, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, remember how they went after uh, Matt Gates? Turns out all that shit was bullshit. It was all fucking bullshit. But damn, he got media play and people were calling for his head. You know? There was no DA invested. Nothing. Nothing. No evidence. There's 11 people that have come forward and said that Andrew Cuomo sexually assaulted them. Whether verbally or physically. Some people, some women said he grabbed their breasts. How is he not in jail? Explain that to me. Is he going to get away with this? Is he, is he going to just resign? Because that's what's going to happen. He has to resign. There's no way he can continue being governor. You know, he has to resign. I mean censor him and everything that that needs to happen if he's not going to resign i mean i think he pre made it pretty clear that he's not going to resign with his press conference that he gave he denied everything and blamed the victims i mean i don't know who is his lawyer who's telling him to get hey, bro keep denying it because the DA in his own fucking state just said he did all these things. Is he that untouchable? I don't know. I don't know. Alyssa Milano, are you gonna are you gonna come out? Because I remember you were fucking saying what a great guy he is. Are you gonna come out, Miss Me Too? Are you gonna come out and fucking say something? All you people about it have egg on your face now. All you people that said he was such a great guy. Oh, uh, this one is this one this one is a shocker for for sure for a lot of people, but. I mean, the writing was on the wall. The writing was on the wall for this guy. I'm just, I'm just curious, is he going to pay for what he's done? Uh, if he gets away with it, because the DA didn't say they were pressing charges on him, which I find confusing, because if you have eyewitness accounts, you have verifiable proof text messages that he sexually assaulted people, I mean, that's against the law. In fact, she said he broke fucking federal and fucking state laws. How is he not charged? Did he make a deal? Did he make a deal that he would testify to these things for immunity? The same thing they did to Bill Cosby. That's the reason why Bill Cosby is out of prison. 
because they gave him immunity? I don't know. That's pretty fucked up. Could I get immunity if I did any of these things that, the, that that guy did? I don't think so. So, you Democrats out there, you people that fucking see this shit, these are your leaders. These are the people you look up to. Because it's not just him. It's not just him. The, the senator that just got uh, just got elected in Georgia, that guy, domestic violence, you know? No, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. It's the double standard, man. The double standard, the lies. This guy was being considered to run for president. Think about it, man. Think about it. That guy. Oh, C CNN, what are you going to do about his brother? What are you going to do about his brother? I said this before. Guarantee his brother killed any story that any, any reporter worth his or her salt at CNN. He heard echoes of this not just his sexual harassment but the COVID thing and you know if if they're honest reporters they went to superior say I have this story how many of those people got shut down by Chris Cuomo oh man you can't do this that's my brother that's my brother I know my brother man my brother does he's not like that I guarantee you that happened multiple times multiple times Chris Cuomo that's that's why that's why this guy was allowed to go on for so long with all the praise because of Chris Cuomo his brother ain't gonna let him get fucking shade through on him hell no it's like the mafia man well, in some ways Chris Cuomo is complacent They should investigate Chris Cuomo. I bet he does the same thing his brother does over at CNN. I don't know. It definitely is a bombshell. I just really, I'm curious. Curious what the left-wing media is going to do about it. Are they going to show it the same fucking attention they would show it if, I, if it was a conservative, you know? came out that if it came out that Ron DeSantis Republican governor of Florida if it came out that he was a sexual harasser what do you think would happen to him right right it'd be front page news all over the place 24-hour news cycle how long are they gonna talk about this on CNN really I wonder are they just gonna talk about it for 15 minutes and then that's it We'll have to see. I call this. I call this. That guy is a scumbag. And I hope he gets his just. What's coming to him? 